just uh, in our last call was basically a kickoff call. Um, we took time to um, you know help you guys to understand what hackathon is, right? So that's what we did. Uh, basically, we talked about three key points. Uh, the first point we talked about. Let's see who else is joining. Okay, Saad. So the first point in the last call we talked about is, as an individual, you, me, or anyone, right? Can can fall into the three categories, right? So the first category is, is first category is well, I'm doing my job and I need to learn something. Ex I need to learn something so I can do my job better, right? So that's the first category of people. And if you look at it, most of the people fall under that category, and they are doing job and they want to learn something so they can do the job better. Like if someone is doing an uh, DevOps and he wants to learn uh, Kubernetes because that's where the market is going, so he can do the job, right? Or whatever that he's working on. And then the second category of the people is those not only learn what is required for their job to do, but also learn outside of that, right? Um, so that's the second category of people, right? A person who is doing a DevOps or a test automation, and uh, he basically uh, learns, um, let, let's say DevOps, not only DevOps tool he learns, he goes and learns the different technologies, the architecture of uh, different way products are architectured, different tools that are out there outside of DevOps and things like that, right? So this is the second category of uh, guy. He knows that he's not going to use that in his day-to-day -day job, but he learns outside of uh, that and, and becomes expert. So now what happens is because of that, he is going to be very well respected in the organization, right? Um, you know, in addition to what he knows and he's doing his job, if someone else have a problem, which is totally outside of his domain area, but he can still go and help and he can stand out of the crowd, right? Uh, that's the second uh, category of the uh, people that we, we talked about, right? And then the third category of the people is helping companies to really grow, right? This is, this is totally a different mindset altogether. Well, you are working on it. How can you basically influence the people around to to you know uh, build a product that can prof or or add a feature into the product or or build completely a new solution um, uh, or or rebuild the existing solution the better way to improve the profitability for the company, right? Or start your uh, you know uh, build something from scratch and start your own company, right? So this is totally a different mindset and this is the third category of the people that we talked about right so this is what we talked about in our last week three three types of uh, people and the goal of hackathon is to transform you guys into the third category right um, and and that's the goal and and i personally wanted to really do this to help you help bunch of uh, people who are uh, who are uh, you know uh, wants wants to really be the third person right that's the initiative that i've taken now uh, Obviously, we will have an official hackathon, right? Uh, we need to find the dates and announce, and then you know find the sponsors, the prices, all those kind of things. Uh, we will we will do an official hackathon where we will invite a lot of people come and pitch the ideas. So the hackathon is of three types. This is also we kind of discussed. The first three three things happens in the hackathon. First thing is people will come and pitch their idea, and then the second thing is those people whoever are liking the idea, they go and join. Finally, you know they form the teams. And then once the team is uh, formed, then they start working on that particular idea. And then they develop the product and then they, they demo the product. And not only the product, but also in addition to that, you need to demo about, uh, you know, who are the competitors and what is the business potential? What is the market? What is the business plan? Like, an, you know, going to an investor and, uh, you know, showing the product and demoing the product and asking money to invest on your startup, right? So that's that kind of a thing that you need to develop um, not only the product, but that kind of other additional things that you need to develop and go and pitch. This is the pitch day, right? The third day. So it happens in three steps. First step is uh, um, um, basically, a, sorry, the pitch day. Second step is the actual development. It could be two days. It could be one day. It could be two weeks. It could be one month, right? It, it depends, right? And then uh, the finally, it's going to be the presentation day where you actually uh, go and present it in front of the people and, and they select the best um, team. And, and you get prices, right? And and I'll tell you honestly, I kind of uh, referred this in our last uh, session as well. Um, there's a lot of uh, companies who came out of Hackathon today are the billion dollar companies, okay? So this is the reality. Um, you never know, right? Uh, so it not only makes you to um, uh, build a company, but also at least the fundamental thing is 
helps you to transform your mindset right when you transform your mindset into an innovation intrapreneurship and entrepreneurship mindset you can do a lot of things okay so that's the uh, you know uh, i wanted to give a background of what we discussed in the last meeting now in this meeting what we are going to do is next uh, 30 to 45 minutes we are going to brainstorm you know i know that a lot of people have typed your ideas in the in the um, uh, chat hackathon chat but let's going we are going to go through um, round table and understand if someone has an idea and we will all talk about that idea uh, we'll first listen to the idea whoever has right and then we will all talk about that idea and see if we can at least form right one or two teams who can start working on this idea and what we are doing now is like a pilot program right so if this is going to become successful you are the first set of people who have really help testopol to kick start this program right uh, this innovative program and and that's why i wanted to do it with a very close group of people and also with the people who are already part of our community rather than uh, uh, you know going and uh, you know publicly announcing hackathon and having 100 people coming in right i don't want to do that i want to start this within the existing community whoever that we have and then do a pilot project and and showcase that success then go to the public uh, hackathon right so that's the thought process any questions so far all good i just gave, gave a recap of uh, whatever that you guys missed in our first call everything is clear vaishali vikas nadia yes clear rajan just be you know interactive all good okay okay so now let's do this um shaad is going to be there to help you guys to build whatever the vision that you, you know don't worry if you don't know how to build right just start with an idea and then we will figure out the teams right we'll form the teams and shaad will be there to help and if you need additional help i'll try to bring people to do do help for you right uh, but but let's start with an idea don't worry about uh, will i be able to do it right it all starts from the from the from the basics and then it 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 moves on to the next step and next step so let's start this today let's call it like a pitch day and team forming day right um and let's see who has what ideas Uh, and let's brainstorm together those those ideas so um shall i let, let's see in hackathon channel who has put ideas right uh, let me check uh shavya sharma is she in the call today shab shavya is there in the call uh let me check um i don't think so okay so she basically put an idea hi everyone i have an idea to create a web page or app at which people can post three services offered by them plumber electrician carpenter repairing cleaning and customer can search and book with providers okay i mean good idea but uh, do you guys any comments on this is there any other solution like this in the market any ideas let's let's do the round table here please and if one if you know if if anyone are interested to work on that idea also please tell me i think craigslist is the biggest uh, sort of source for these kinds of things um like you know when someone needs some sort of work done that is uh, incidental or like a side gig people tend to post it on places like craigslist yeah right so there is something and there is a like like home home there's so many things like that uh, if i remember i'm i'm not getting the name uh yeah rajan you were saying something please go ahead another example is uh, i guess the facebook marketplace like uh it is covering uh, this services but it's not specially designed for uh a trade services that i believe like i i i know that sometime back in my at my place something broke right i i googled those like 10 20 find the plumber right, right. for example plum check it trade uh there were so many websites that i saw a uh, yelp is also a big one here Uh, help right. yeah help and 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 this specifically what was that home ah 
Uh, see a top 10 DIY home and repair websites. I think this is what it is. Home advisor. See, so many things are there. This old house, Baba Villa, do it yourself, repair home. You see, there are so many websites are there like that. So what is that uh, we can do here different than all these websites? So something to think about, okay? Um, let's look, let me look at anyone else who has put some idea here. Joy. Create an employment agency for profit dedicated for automation test professional. Oh, there are so many, so many, no, now you just have to do one search, right, Jai? What's your thought process? So, rather that is, um, I put that a word up while I put that, above, I mean, a while back. So, I'm, so this is my thought process. So, I want to come under the umbrella of test over. Think mm -hmm. about what we are doing. So, you're training professionals, right? Mm -hmm. They're training, but they are not really ready to go out and work. Some of not, I mean, not some of us. Like, you know, some of us are not really ready to go out and work. You need more experience. So I was thinking like, OK, we need to train them really. So if it is API testing, add more projects. So it's a project based employment agency, I was thinking. So let's Good say, idea. Good idea. let's say, so it's a web, web service, right? We are testing web service. So maybe a few of us can get together. We create web services. And then if I'm, let's say, uh, Vishali is looking for a test automation job, she has to write all the test scripts that she needs. And then she will create a project. And then if, let's say, Royal Bank is looking for a client, one of us will talk to the HR at uh, Royal Bank and say, look, you know, at Testopper, we have so-and-so who is really good at this. She has very good technical skills. She has good knowledge. She's very dedicated. So we give a great recommendation. And say, look, she has created a project. So she also has to be able to present. And then, so an employer looks for communication skills, um, knowledge, uh, dedication, commitment, like, you know, some attributes. So we have to train that candidate and... Uh, try to make a good project out of it and present the project, create a video, send it and like, you know, do something different than a normal agency is doing today. And then we, we will be able to capture the market, right? Because they, the HR person doesn't have to call Vishali to see what Vishali's capabilities are. So she can get either selected to round two or get eliminated at that point. Uh, that is what I was thinking. And then also I have another idea. No, 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 no. Hold on to your thought before <laughs> okay. moving on to other ideas, right? So, you know, see, today what's happening is, uh, you're right, right? A lot of people put their resumes and skills and there is some job, job, you know, um, they matches to the skills and it does AI or whatever. And then it uh, lists the list, gives the list of candidates to the, let's like, for example, I'm a recruiter, right? Uh, I wanted to recruit someone with data science um, you know, I have a, I, I have bought the services right from a job agency website portal, which is which has AI in it, and I go and I say, hey, data science is what I'm looking for, and I say five years, ten years experience or whatever, um, and and you know it kind of uh, does an AI, uh, it could do a normal algorithm, but also it could do AI, right, to give the top top candidates that are required. Uh, that I can look at to 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 interview, right? The ready-made top candidates. Yes. But now, but now these ready-made top candidates that I get, anybody is doing, right? Everybody is doing, right? If I'm a job job, you know, if I want to recruit someone, it's it's easy for me to get, uh, go into many many different job sites to to get that. But now, what does it basically has is it has um, it has normally the the skill sets and also you know when you are writing a resume. Sometimes you can write a resume in a form that these are all the different projects that I have done. Correct. Right. Right. Now, now, what is what is limited there is, uh, you know, it, it's basically a text based uh, stuff, right? Um, yeah. And and it is not, uh, you know, a video based or a demo based. Uh, uh, you know, it's possible that when when I'm a recruiter, I'm looking at to recruit Joy, for example, right? I wanted to really go and see her video, her projects, what she's done, and the demo of the projects, uh, what she's done. Uh, you know, if, if I get that additional uh, information, I will be able to gauge her better rather than just looking at uh, her skill sets and and, and and other aspects of it, right? Yes. So so now, 
I repeated the same thing what you told. Now, how much time does it take for the existing job search, um, you know, websites or the uh, stuff to provide a, a field for you to upload your project demo videos and stuff like that? Right. You see so what I mean? Should, yes, we should create that. Is what I'm saying. Like a blob storage. We learn about blob storage. Why can we not create? Like now we have latest technologies like cloud. Maybe. Maybe we can do this. Let's not yes. think about uh, competition, job search, or you know, other job website guys, right? Uh, right. Shah, Shah, this is what I'm thinking. Let's build something that can help the community to display themselves uh, to the job seekers who come to our community in a very simplest uh, project that uses artificial intelligence. Um, also, it, it has uh, you know um, a thing by which the, the candidates can present themselves like an entrepreneur goes and presents in front of a um, front of a, a investor to get the investment right like that uh, a job seeker can present himself uh, about uh, you know whatever and and uh, show the demos of the project or whatever right five minute pitch or whatever that will uh, be like a marketing tool too and right? you market yourself in a different way well you know we will see like you know if if this idea is is going to become a product right we will start piloting it with Testopal, but if, uh, you know, whatever the team that you are building together, six, five, six people and whoever is building, and if this product becomes out really well, uh, maybe you, you know, you all can start a company, right? <laughs> so we'll see as things evolve how to, um, how to, how to take this forward. But as far as the idea is concerned, what do you guys think? Yeah, I want to comment on uh, this idea. So, yeah. like, I believe this idea can, uh, like, widely helpful to press uh, like the one who are uh, coming out from uh, universities so yes. yeah so so those guys doesn't have any corporate experience or how the production system works in real life but they do have knowledge like yeah they, they are master in java they are master in python but the thing is they don't have any experience to write in the resume so for those people like we can provide a service like that, that uh, uh, we have trained this uh, new graduate uh, as a production level environment. And then these, these resources are ready to deploy in any company. Like RBC is looking for any specific role. Then we need to train them like according to their tools and uh, their strategy. Yeah, um, yeah. Here is what it is. So that is that is a little tough because let's say I am applying for 10 different jobs a day and then I have to create create based on the requirements. Then I have to create projects. That's not possible. This is a general. Who am I? Right. What can I do? It's kind yeah, of you know, you know, what will people upload? What I put in my resume, right? Generally, you are tested on only what you put on your resume. You don't yeah, test see, uh, let, me, let me let me clarify this right in the pitch day, right? Um, it's not about you need to really come up with a 360 degree of what you're going to implement on your idea. Okay. What is important here is, is it idea worth to move forward and build a project, right? Um, so for me, whatever joy you are telling me, this is how I summarize it. I summarize it uh, as a solution or a product that allows individuals to pitch themselves to the recruiters. I'm, I'm just changing, right? See, in, 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 in what happens is in the entrepreneurship world, it, the, for example, the pitch competitions and hackathons, what does it do basically? It allows an individual to come and pitch their solutions to seek investment, right? And we are going to do the same thing for jobs. You're going to build a solution that's going to allow the candidates to pitch themselves to get the job from the potential employers. That's all. That's the idea. Now, around this idea, let's form a team and then start writing the high level requirements or whatever high level ideas, but don't do like too many things, right? See, one of the problem everybody does is in my experience, remember this as a thumb rule, okay? In our life, we can do thousand things, yeah? Right? We can, we can uh, uh, you know, play and we can, uh, uh, go to bar and we can, uh, you know, uh, study, we can do thousands of other things. But remember, we are only one person, right? 
and and uh, we have only 24 hours a day and we need to sp- uh, sleep and we need to have, we we have kids and we have families and all so there is a limited thing only we can do so you have to prioritize right so sometimes what happens is when you're starting to build something hey if i do that it will add value if i do that it will add value you'll end up with having like 50 features and you'll never complete your project it will go year after year after year so always think this is your idea i'm going to allow a i'm going to develop a platform that allows an individual to pitch themselves to the recruiters to get job that's it now with that think about what is most important thing right i i don't want to say it but i'll just give you an example how can i bring ai into this to help the recruiter to select the right person right and uh, and how can i uh, uh, what are all the things that you want an individual to put themselves to market you know demo video pitch video skills whatever right minimum things not like too many things because see in a resume we normally like 1000 things right 1000 things but recruiters don't really need 1000 things right so so think from that point of view i think from my view this is a good idea uh, let's see um, uh, you know let's keep this uh, for now right let's do a voting towards the end any comments on this idea guys or anything that you don't understand on this idea or joy if i whatever i'm saying is different from what your thought process is then also tell me so kada i want to just add a few more things but we don't have to do it right now i was thinking like maybe we should have this is where the ai capabilities comes in um final reporting like what's the purpose why are we doing this right so i was thinking like there are so many people in canada they are looking for work and canada spends a lot of money on training but are they putting that money in the right place and the job employers they are looking for people they don't find end of the day they can't find the right person or maybe we join a company we don't like the company we are not in the right place So can we do some AI reporting and then maybe you can send it to me? Yeah, but that that becomes that yeah, that is for later on. That is, no, that's a feature of this product, right? Right. See, that's a idea. Product. Idea is the key. That's what I kept saying. You might think a hundred things, right? But yeah. what is you always should have a foundation. When you are constructing a home, you should have a foundation, right? What is your foundation that you are going to build? You are going to enable a platform for individual to display their skills or. pitch themselves to get in front of a recruiter to get job that's it right that's your core fundamental fundamental thing exactly now right. when you have all these data inputted into your solution now what are you going to do with that data and how are you going to enri- enrich it and what kind of an insights that you're going to provide with the data using ai that comes as a feature after right you can list down two or three features that would differentiate your product uh, but the foundation will never change you understand right what i mean agree yes okay so you, when you said three things joy you meant all these three things are are like features right like i explained now um, the, yes when you yeah, said the core three, thing the feature yeah, is like thing. like the core thing what i said is in alignment with your idea right yeah i guess so yes okay okay i just want to make sure because it's your idea right so yes. all right good good so um, let's move on to um, uh, any owner's idea i have some idea. more idea one one idea for one person We'll come back. We'll, we'll come back uh, uh, to you if others don't have an <laughs> okay. idea. Yeah, yeah. Sure. All sure. right. So yeah. let's go to. Um, let me check. Vikas has had some idea. So Vikas basically saying, "I wanted to develop a website change notification web app for a long from a long time. I suppose if someone is looking for a specific product, laptop, which costs thousand seven hundred dollars, he she wants to buy it on thousand five hundred dollars or under." on discount so she she can mark the price block on that website to notify any changes check airline ticket hotel prices and service to track important updates or news it is requested okay so vikas what do you have in your mind this is like everybody has right like air canada has uh, um, you know uh, any anything that you buy like amazon you can do bidding so many things are there no how is that your your idea is different from them yeah so they are uh, basically using apis or uh, like uh, in uh, like big sector like air canada or any so- shopping website amazon.com so mm-hmm. we have to be their customer to get notification right mm-hmm. yeah but in this case like uh, i want to develop a web app in where uh, a user can mark up a specific block on website that uh, like suppose a laptop cost uh, $1500 but uh, he want to buy buy it under $1200 so he need to mark that specific uh, price block 
on the website and uh, need to put condition that I want to buy less than $1,200. And once the price drop on any discount or any sale, so he should get a notification of that. So this is just one use case of this idea, but it can be like tons of use case. Yeah, but see, for always go back to the foundation, right? Because so your yeah. foundation for this is what you are telling is a feature. OK, the yeah. foundation for this is an e-commerce website. That's all. So when you have an e-commerce website, you can add this feature into this uh, e-commerce website, right? e-commerce website where you are buying stuff as an example right um, yeah and and your foundation is always a, your foundation for this idea is an e-commerce website and you can add a feature whenever you list the product with some uh, back-end code to or the front-end uh, GUI for the user to enter the price and then notify them but to me it's like a feature not a not a uh, foundation any thoughts you agree or disagree yeah, like uh, we can use it in, in different purpose also like uh, if I'll say, uh, if you are familiar about the uh, current uh, like CRS score, which is uh, mm -hmm. like uh, the uh, PR candidates are uh, tracking for their uh, CRS cutoff. So correct, correct. yeah, so one can mark up uh, on that block that I want CRS score below this and uh, I should get notification. Okay. So that is another use case. Um, yeah, so yeah, but if you still see the foundation, there is the PR yeah. PR application that is the foundation, right? And yeah. this is a feature on top of that foundation, right? Yeah. So so I, I understand what you're saying feature, but then if you wanted to develop that feature as a, uh, a product, then that means you need to build something um, uh, that is integratable that, that you can integrate with any other solutions. That's what you are getting at if I'm not wrong. Yeah, that's true. So you you want to build a product, OEM product, you know, uh, you will not have a GUI and all in this, right? It's a, just an OEM product with the back end. Of course, you'll have GUI just to show the demos to the uh, e-commerce website guys, but you just basically have a small feature in the background running and then you will provide an API so all the e-commerce guys, the PR guys can can yeah, it's you know, kind in, of a integrate plugin. your library. Yeah, it's like kind of a plugin. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's keep that as one idea. Let's uh, let's see if there if we have anyone else. Um, uh, example. So I would be happy to create a small website. Okay, Sarika, I don't I don't see that she's joined. Because okay, so now uh, let me open the floor. Anyone else has any other ideas? Uh, Zai, not you. <laughs> yeah, I can. Uh, I'll suggest one. Yes, please go ahead, Shah. Um, so one of the things that I've seen, uh, I have a lot of uh, friends um, and former colleagues who've taken a lot of online courses. Um, and what usually happens is that the only way that we can understand before taking an online course what the reviews are for this course is on the site that hosts them uh, uh, itself. So uh, if you have a Udemy course, then the reviews that you'll be reading about that course would be on Udemy. Mm -hmm. um, if you have a Coursera course, you'll be reading about the reviews about it on Coursera. Now, if you have a book, for books, you have dedicated websites which only focus on uh, book reviews. Right? A great example of that is Goodreads where you go on Goodreads, you select the kind of book you want to read, and you get the top ranked in that category or categories. So I had an idea where we could do the same thing that Goodreads, Goodreads does for books, but do it for online courses, where we do special, we allow people to put in specialized reviews regarding the courses that they're taking. And we can have like a neutral platform where someone can come in and see what the reviews are for a certain course before they go in and uh, uh, take the course. Mm -hmm. uh, so OK, so let's say, for example, Testoper, right? So yes. you can have a separate page for Testoper and courses and people can provide uh, reviews in that. Uh, I mean, vendor independent platform. So so don't, what about Google reviews? It's a vendor independent platform, right? People can go on. Is it not the same way as Google reviews? 
Um, I haven't seen Google reviews for um, courses. I don't know yeah, what they look yeah. like. Let no, me from the concept, the concept is the same, but uh, it, yeah. Google is for everything, right? Like restaurants, some third party can go and put reviews, right? So like, oh, for example, when I wanted to go to the restaurant, I don't go to the restaurant and look at their reviews, right? Yeah. Uh, what I do is I go to the Google reviews uh, and then click uh, the restaurant and then see how general public is providing reviews about that particular because it's it's public it's a it's a new vendor neutral uh, platform for the reviews yes i agree maybe google platform has uh, reviews for everything but it's not focused for the online courses um i'm not sure if google reviews has uh, reviews for courses at all um, yeah it's not it's not it's not right but it has uh, uh, but the concept foundation is the same right like for example um, Testoper, I can create a page for for Google reviews, right? Yeah. No. I, let's, I, let's say you want to find um, you're a beginner in Python and you want to find the best online course for Python and you want to spend less than a hundred dollars for this course, right? And you don't want to commit more than let's say six months. So you go in with these specific criteria and you want to know which is the best course that fits this criteria. Okay. Now, then, yeah, it, this is this is different. It, 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 the foundation is the same, but uh, it's, yeah. it, it's unique uh, use case for uh, online yeah. courses. So, so okay. you go in with these starting points, and now what you'll have to do right now is that you'll have to go on Udemy, Coursera, all these platforms, or test offer separately. Mm -hmm. um, and then you'll have to look at those reviews separately for each course. The issue happens here is that firstly, you have to go to many different platforms. Secondly, obviously, because the reviews are being published by the people who are providing the courses, there is the element of bias that's going to exist, right? They, uh, Udemy won't say that this course is bad. They'll be less likely to say that. A neutral platform would be give a more honest opinion. And the best example is Goodreads, again, for, because they do books and they only cover books, right? And a lot of people go on Goodreads to get an idea of how a book is, and then they go on Amazon and buy it, right? They don't look at Amazon reviews because they think that those can be manipulated and uh, all of that. So that's sort of where I'm coming from, where we are dedicated to uh, one thing. Yeah, I, I like this idea. Good, good. This Any comments concept, from anyone? This concept is uh, similar to TripAdvisor, which is a neutral platform for travelers. Right? Th that's yeah. what uh, yeah, Saad yeah, is yeah, 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 the interesting exactly. thing is that you also have an inbuilt revenue model here because you're also referring people to these um, to these courses. Um, and all of these uh, course providers have referral programs. So right from the start, you have some sort of revenue model as well. Yeah, yeah, understood, understood. And even uh, what Joyce idea, we can start obviously, you know, whenever coming when you are coming up with an idea, we have to build the revenue model also together, right? When we go to the market, like Joyce stuff, um, you know, maybe she don't uh, collect it from the people who are uh, pitching themselves to seek the job, but uh, those who wants to come and um, you know get the right people, uh, they you know she can charge some 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 money there, right? So we we can business models we can always think about as we evolve in these ideas right uh, yeah and in terms of uh, for my idea coming up with the uh, you know using art ai in this uh, there are two ways that i could see it being implemented right one is a recommendation engine based on your history on the site uh, that's the most obvious one uh, because people are going through different sort of data points we're collecting okay they saw this course they search for this they search for this we can have a recommendation engine that Whenever they come on the website, they see a recommended courses section or something like that. Um, we could also have AI uh, prioritize which reviews are more authentic and useful as compared to other ones. So then they are more visible. So those are just two cases right off the right awesome. off the top of my head. Awesome, awesome. So that becomes uh, you know for you to further develop on that. Any yeah. ideas? Any ideas, um, guys? Any ideas? Any comments? Outside of joy, no. no new ideas. No new ideas. I just want to build on Shad's idea, Kadir. So why not YouTube? Like if you look at YouTube too, there are lots of comments and there are very good um, you, YouTube. Usually I'll say playlist. When I search, I say you, YouTube, let's say Java playlist or something like that. There are very good courses. Um, same as Coursera or Udemy. Can you add to those as well? Because you can direct, um, and maybe the revenue module is have more revenue is high there in YouTube, right? They pay more, maybe. 
Um, so if you, for example, you go on this hypothetical website and you searched for uh, free courses of Java, right? Then you have the option of adding um, video courses that are available on YouTube there as well. The whole point is to have sort of one repository where you you have a sort of collection of all the courses that are available on all different platforms, and then you give the public a chance to put in their reviews regarding those courses. Right, not not limiting just to the ones on the internet, right? Is that what you are trying to do? Just the internet? Yeah, it could be any course. Doesn't matter, right? Yeah. Any because course course when, that, yeah. yeah. So as a requirements person, I am thinking when you say that, how how do I get this? Like, what is my input? So one is Coursera, or maybe it's a YouTube. What are the inputs, right? How how do I get my data into your database? Oh, so you you uh, oh, so so the uh, easiest way of that because we're allowing a platform, uh, we're allowing a uh, creating a place where people can sort of uh, a core a publishing website which publishes courses can get publicity about their courses. So they would be, I'm sure they would be more than happy to provide. Uh, us metadata on all of their courses. Like if okay. we if we go, go to Coursera and say that we want to list your courses on our website and then direct people to you, they would be more than happy to give us all the details of the courses that they have. So so again, right? This is what I wanted to see when I come in between. I'm consider guys that I'm not stopping you, right? But uh, trying to steer you guys towards the right direction. So. Right now, the focus is an idea. If you like the idea, good. Now, how are we going to implement it? What feature are we going to implement it? What business model we are going to create? What pricing model we are going to create? What uh, technology we are going to use? All those things is irrelevant at this point of time. Okay. So, it, it Agathon, when you know when you when you wanted to become a creator, that the third personality that I talked about, you, your your thought process should be only, hey, what do I create? So now we are on the right pitch, right? That's why I always come back to the foundation. We have like three things that we wanted to create, right? One thing is Joyce story. And second thing is uh, Vikas story. Vikas is more or like an OEM product, right? And Joy B2B. And in case of um, uh, Joy and, and the Shards product, it's B2C, right? So, um, you know, it, it's kind of um, B2C or, or B2B. It could be both, right? It, you know, we, the customers comes and get benefited. And you are actually targeting uh, businesses for uh, for uh, making money or whatever, right? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. But the point is, um, let's stick to the foundation for now, okay? So now I want to move on to others. If anyone else have any other ideas, please. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Jonas. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know how best I'll put it. So let me just try. Lately, I had the issue with a client. He gave me a website, so actually text. So I noticed I have different elements in wrong position where the login is not uh, in the same position as the input feed and so forth. So I really struggle like checking on that. So I was thinking if I can build something like, okay, uh, something that will be able to scale those elements, like make a line on the page and show me which element is falling apart from uh, away from other elements. And just to show me that the site is well structured and well aligned, every test are in position and so forth. So I could want to do this by drawing some line in the screen showing everything. But I don't really know how to put everything together. Just can just it, this is like uh, this is like a coding code. Uh, what is that, uh, Sadr? Good name. Uh, there's some tools, right? Uh, it's been uh, so, a while. so what happens is there's a Visual Studio Code, for example, has extensions that study your CSS um, and your you know the way you formatted your HTML. So it's basically that thing, but it's visual rather than uh, as an extension to VS Code. Yeah, so there are so many solutions already out uh, there, right, uh, Jonas? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, there are solutions. There are companies who actually, 
take only your ideas and they they actually build the code by themselves their engine build the code by themselves so developer don't even have to develop the code there are products like that yeah. i have seen too right uh, yeah yeah i think uh, we need to do a little bit more research probably it would be tough right now don't don't feel bad but uh, but let's do a little bit more research okay 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 fine 10 july 2020 at the energy pitch day okay anything else team any other ideas it kind of just uh, one one but i'm not sure like how it is going to be uh, but i'm just uh, you know yeah uh, yeah you have to in my head <laughs> yeah 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 please uh, because whatever, we like, all want uh, to learn yeah <laughs> but it's already available but i, I don't know like uh, lots of immigrants are coming in uh, toronto and even in canada so what about like uh, food catering and delivery food catering and delivery uh, uh, you have other? uber eats you have uber eats uh, <laughs> so many thing no yeah but uber eats uh, i mean uh, kind of uh, yes but from the business perspective what i see is because you don't have to have uh, the, the people like uh, you know like uber eats and skip the dishes uh, uh, they they collect from restaurants and uh, other outlets so uh, this is like totally like a uh, amazon you know like a warehouse home, home food yeah if i yeah. cook home food and yes, i wanted to yes. give it to those guys Yeah, something like that. Because you know, uh, from a business point of view, like uh, there is no cost for uh, uh, rent. Like like Amazon, you know, like it's very cheap, and uh, because they don't have an outlet, so skip the dishes and Uber Eats, and and some others. They they just uh, knock to the uh, restaurants uh, that's uh, in the streets. So the the outlet, the restaurants, they they have the food uh, price, menu price. uh th- that covers their rent so this is like uh, as you coined it like a total uh, like no I, i actually i understood i actually <laughs> like it you are like you, you are trying to do um, uh you know yeah, same concept of- like uber like like a food service uber food service for uh, you know home home uber right home uber yeah, kind of uber. Uber. you don't have any kind of uh, outlet and yeah and this is only a website uh, website yeah. more specific for the home not not the restaurants right the home uh, yes. cooks who wants to cook and sell their products yeah yes i, I love to eat yeah. lots of food different ones. so this is just yeah, that's a good idea yeah, just so uh, yeah, that's a good idea kadar but there are lots of regulations around it in canada yeah but that's okay you know um, idea is what we need to look at and then while we are studying if there is lot of regulations and stuff like that when we can drop the idea but from the idea point of view it's 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 okay you know even uber also had the same thing right um, you are basically asking someone who has his own car to drive someone else um and you are outside and it, it's it's also has lot of regulations right um you know in so so many things and and i know what you are saying right uh, the cleanliness of the food and what if disease comes and all those different kind of things are there maybe you can you know like uber has a certain certification to certify the drivers before uh, before they do right things like that you can come up with some kind of a classes to counter classes to uh, overcome those uh, those uh, hurdles you see what i mean joy actually kada there's a food inspector that food in- inspector he has to come and uh, check your house inspect yeah. the kitchen yes all those if if you did if you get a 10, 100 million dollar investment if you get an 100 million dollar investment to further develop this idea for example okay yeah oh, that's a good idea hiring, hiring how many uh, you know uh, inspectors but i don't know whether there is the same kind of an idea is there or not outside uh, you know as for as today's discussion within 10 people it looks like a good idea we need to research a little bit okay mm-hmm. so idea 3 um, i think sarth's uh, idea uh, Kada, if you check the meeting notes, I've listed all the ideas that we discussed. Okay, okay. So uh, you know, okay, fine. You know, here let me put it like this: uh, idea one, joy. Let's give some name, not the whole thing, right? I don't want to write down the whole thing. Uh, job is um, teaching uh, the uh, candidates to recruiters. Yeah. That you know, give some name, but for now, let's say. job seeker pitch okay just for our understanding but you have to give some nice name for your idea joy okay all right uh, then uh, for uh, rajan it's um, uber uh, for home food let's put it like this okay yes right <laughs> thank you uber for home food right 
home cooked food actually. And catering as well, you know, like uh, you know. Yeah, yeah. People, yeah. Okay. Thank you. It, 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 those are additional stuffs, right? So for Shad, your idea is you want to give some nice name here. I can't think of a name, but it's basically a a sort of a directory and. No, just an abstract. Yeah, just an abstract. Yeah, directory thing. and reviews for um, online courses. Reviews for reviews for online courses, right? Why only online courses? Reviews for courses. Okay. I don't know. I have two more idea. I can just say in one line. So the first is a uh, uh, carpool. Yeah. So let let me finish this one. Uh, we had one more idea, right? Sorry. Uh, yeah, okay. We had idea from Vikas, no? Vikas. So it's a OEM product. OEM product to track and uh, OEM track and um, inform uh, inform when threshold is reached. Right? This is what it is, right? Because. Ah uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. And okay. So yeah, please. You know, before I don't, you know, I want to give one idea for one person, right? But yeah, let's let's we have like eleven minutes. Let's uh, think of uh, let's let's discuss some other additional ideas if you guys have. So, carpool carpool application. Uh huh. So in Bangalore or in any metro city in India, if you see like if you want to go somewhere, you just need to put destination, and uh, if I'm driving on that side, then. i can accept your ride and we can go together so in north america there is no service like that yeah you can use uber or lyft but the thing is like if uh, i want to drive someone like i want to earn money while driving to my work then yeah it can be one option and another thing is a uh, food delivery application yeah that's true food Food delivery is already there, no Uber and all, right? Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, sorry, not food delivery, grocery delivery. Yeah, I think there are there are there are a lot of. But anyways, let it like write it down. Groceries, groceries delivery. Okay. Anyone else? Uh, Can I go further? Yeah. Okay. So, um, this is regards to UI part automation. so large organizations currently they are doing um process automation but i don't know if we can introduce this to medium and small organizations so look at a data entry company right if they are doing data entry uh, we can introduce ui path and ui path is very good at it they have a very good um uh pdf extraction tool Yeah, it's expert. a workflow it's a workflow engine rpa is a workflow engine right uh, yeah so okay. i was thinking maybe we can train like a few people have asked me from our team from testopa uh, community if i can train them on rpa so it's just train make sure they can do it and then and then also we can bring uh, medium and small sized small size employers into a meet up group um, and kada you can do your marketing talk and maybe we can find customers and then we can train and send them out right like people who are looking for work we will, through my website maybe we will attract more uh, recruiters and also people who are looking for work so maybe we can train but make sure we train them first like in sap or we are all different good at different things technology maybe we try to train people who are looking for work because that is your objective you want to help people so how can we help people and uh, train them and send them out something like that that is one idea that i have but one more i just wait, want to wait, do wait, something wait 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 um so you wanted to bring the people train them and uh, equip them to get a job right this is what okay. we do in testopper right yes yes and and um, what is the idea here i'm i'm like trying struggling to understand what's the idea okay so i want to do it specifically in ui path or sap which i am good at it i can train yeah. like that if different people are good at something technology you train yeah, but, them but that's a training no but here what is an idea it's okay just, see for me it's very pretty simple right uh, um, uh, okay so this joy, is the idea joy 
So I, what I can do is uh, you give me, um, you know, what you wanted to train and your course content, start date, end date. We can create an even bright entry and then we can uh, uh, see whoever is interested to join. Whoever joins, you can train. Okay. okay. So that, that is, that is like, so okay, how that's we not do an it. idea. Yeah, that's a how we do it part, right? So yeah. I, what I'm trying to say, the main idea is large organizations are currently implementing RPA. Yeah. But why not a medium and a small size employer? Because they don't know about it. So we need to educate and then we can make more revenue out of it is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, but that's a service business, right? Uh -huh. So uh, it's not a, yeah. So see, like, for example, you wanted to, are you going to build a product to educate the SMBs about RPA? I don't think so. Oh, okay, then it, maybe we'll, we can drop that idea. Maybe yeah. we will uh, We will incorporate uh, this one. Yeah, see, for me, there are two things here that I can get out of it, right? So okay. One thing is, I know that a while ago you wanted to train RPA. At that point, at that point of time, we were settling down, right? As you know, uh, now we have settled down. If you wanted to create an RPA training course and you wanted to train people on UI path, please create the course content and give me the start and the end time. And I will uh, create an event by entry and we can do some marketing and see whoever are interested or coming and joining your RPA class, right? Okay. So that we will do it. And then if you wanted to start a consulting on RPA for small and medium sized companies, mm -hmm. that's a service business, right? Okay. So you can, I mean, you can simple buy a, create a WordPress $50 website, put it up. Uh, I can help SMBs to do a workflow automation through UI path and then find customers for you, for yourself. But that's not a product, no? You understand right. no, what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 sure. Okay. Yes, got it. Right, okay, I know. Perfect. Any other ideas you have? Um, so I was thinking, now I don't know if this is also a product, right? No, no, you, have to, yes. you have to tell so me I so like I can get you. Yeah. Right, I like to help children, right? Now around, I looked around, like I have a 11 year old son. Um, so I want to help children. So what I was thinking is um, make use, like as a, as, a, as a working mom, I'm always telling him do this, do that. But with Shard's uh, to-do list application, I want to promote that, complete that and promote that application to children. So I don't know if that is service oriented again, because pair, it makes um, the parents life a lot easier when the child is organized. Yeah, uh, can you repeat? I'm, uh, I'm still struggling to understand the foundation. Okay. So the foundation is, um, Shad has given us a project, a to-do list project. So all your tasks, you can input your task into it. So, so I created a UI, but it's not complete yet. So I want to promote this product as a product to children, like to families where they can um, keep their children organized. Does that make sense? Yeah, to-do list basically. So, okay. So we have a calendar to-do list and all those things we, you know, in officially in my, you know, I do 10, 20 different things. I forget, right? I'm getting old. So what I do is I have this to-do list in my stuff and I, assign all those things in a Microsoft uh, to do to do and then when the right time comes it gives me a reminder I go and do stuff that's what you're talking about right yeah but that's talking. for the children for children right they don't have a Microsoft they don't have Outlook they're not used to that okay but, so so let's say um let's say um task organizer right or something for children someone can come up with an idea something for children right organize that no yeah. But you have to come up with what idea, right? There are thousands of ideas we can come up, right? So organizer for children's, right? Uh, task organizer for children's. That's what yeah, something this. like that is what I'm looking for. Okay, source organizer for children. Any anything else? Anyone else? Uh, Nadia uh, wanted to pitch. Something. Yes, Nadia. Nadia, go ahead. Uh, are you able to hear me? Yes. Okay, great. So um, this is something actually I find it very challenging as a consumer, like a person who have, what do you call it, a paid subscription. I mean, I pay for Amazon services, for example, Amazon account that I pay for, I have a Netflix, I have Spotify. So how can I find it easy? Like, how can I find a way to keep up with all these subscriptions, with the um, scheduled payments? that I have to so rather for me than, for example, monitoring my account, my bank account, or going to each website and checking on my subscription if the payment has gone through or not. 
I was thinking probably if we have an app where that app would use my email and just list all my subscriptions for me and I can either even um, disconnect my services through this app through probably using the APIs from these services or applications through the app. So kind of like to manage all my subscriptions in one place. One stop for um, one stop shop for individuals to manage. Like a subscription track, management solution. Yeah, management and track um, their uh, monthly subscription and payments, right? Okay. All right. Any other ideas? I, Kada, get, I, I want two more, more, two more, two uh, more minutes. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, Rajan. I just want to paraphrase the idea too that you have mentioned. I just want to like uh, have, uh, is it okay to uh, jot it like uh, 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 customized foot imagine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so I'll, like I'll, 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 I'm, going to, I'm going to come back to that now. Okay. okay. Any other ideas? Any other ideas from anyone? OK, so now this is what we are going to do until we meet next week's the same time. OK. Uh, first thing that you are going to do is. Tasks, right? First thing you are going to do is each of the idea, whoever is provided the idea, right? Five of you, you're going to do is research to find out. Research to find out. Oh, come on, I'm typing. Research to find out um, um, is there a competition? If yes, how are you different? Right? First thing, okay? Then the second thing is name your company. Give, give a name. I don't know. You say, hello. I, <laughs> that could be your company name. Uh, Joy can say, hey, J Joy. That could be a company name, right? Name the company. Name your company. It, it depends on, you know, uh, this is what I, Rajan, you know, you want to change, you do. Name your company. Okay? And don't worry about vision, mission, and all. Nothing, right? For now, just name your company. And the third thing is, voting. We are going to do OAT. Vote for all ideas, all the ideas, right? Vote for all the ideas, five ideas that we have. And vote for all the ideas, select top, select top two. Okay, we select top two because see, what I see here is we are 10 people, um, you know, take me out, take Shad out, right? Rest, rest of the rest of you all are the programmers. Maybe you don't know AI, don't worry about it. In the process of building this, we will learn, learn and build. And Shad is there to help. And if required, I'll bring uh, someone else to help you guys to learn. Um, you know, even if you don't know any programming, you have an idea, you will learn and build this, right? That's, don't worry about it. So research to find out, is there a competition? Name your company, vote for all the ideas. So we, among 10 of us, we are going to vote um, for all the ideas. Shad, if you can help me, Saad, right? Uh, yeah. Not Saad, Shad, Shad. Um, you, if you can help me to create a, um, a forum, right, a voting forum, to and and then we can have uh, those people whoever are in the in the call and and whoever have uh, been interacting with us in hackathon to kind of um, you know um, vote this. Uh, then based on the vote, uh, we will select the top two. After we select the top two, we will form the teams between us, right? Right, I, I can be, you know, we'll split the team five five by five and we will form two teams. And then what we will do is, after that, let, we will agree among ourselves now how many days it's going to be, like, you know, um, five days, ten days, one month, two months to build the prototype. You don't have to have a complete product, remember, right? Build a prototype with minimum stuff, working stuff that you can go to market, if you want to go to market. Or if you wanted to, you know, put it in the test over community, for example, job seeker pitch, right? Minimum thing that works, one or two thing that works and works well, and, and that is tied to the foundation. Then get the traction 
and then slowly 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 add more and more feature and evolve that for next to 2 years right and even even you can take that and go and pitch to the angel investors i'll i'll tell you i'll help you with all those things right and then maybe some angel investors might might uh, like you and they wanted to invest on 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 uh, on our idea right so we don't know and and then uh, we can uh, we can, we'll see as step by step for now what i recommend is these four things to do each one of the responsibility is owners okay the first one is responsibility is idea owner idea owners but don't come up with new idea okay validate the existing idea and then be confident that your idea is a, is an idea that's going to make a difference and there is no one else out there take time one week google go here and there right uh, you will you will find this is the idea owners and then the name the company again the idea owners okay what for all ideas all of us but don't uh, feel sad if your idea does not come in top 2 right it's not about your idea right it's about building something that that makes sense right so top two things for for now we will select and may, maybe later on when we have 20 people 30 people we will read, do this cycle and then when we do an official hackathon maybe there you know that that idea might be picked up and and developed right so don't feel bad you know out of these five ideas you know only the two ideas are selected and other people who gave the ideas are not belong to those first two ideas don't worry about that right and then we will form a team among us we will form a team for the top two ideas and then we will start working on it independently right two form two teams independently we agree on the timeline and then we will start building the stuff okay and then uh, uh, towards the end once we have then then there's a lot of things that we can do I'll, i'll i'll help you guys with that for now we will stop here does it make sense any questions anybody has okay so in the oat what i also wanted to do is uh, after the top two things are selected we have to create an another oat right uh, for who wants to work on which team which team right after the two ideas came who wants to among among all of, you know 10 of us who wants to work on which team it's possible that eight people will want to work on one idea but then what i will do is i'll come and i will identify we will we'll discuss together okay what kind of an expertise is required and what is missing and then we will split the team um, based on the expertise in a in a more uh, uh, you know normalized uh, manner and then that respective team will start building the projects um, and then we will see how how we can take this forward uh, to to the next steps okay but it will give you whether whether you're going to get turn this into a startup or not that's a different story but what's going to happen is when you go through this process you will get an idea of how to start and how to end and how to form a company how to create something you will go through this exercise and you will uh, you will experience this exercise with you and then after that i'll tell you this much you will become so addict that wherever the hackathons are happening you will go and participate in those hackathons <laughs> like like right now you are you are like you know i am trying to find the courses who are training and i wanted to go and learn because why you are either in category you know the type 1 or type 2 right type 1 going back learning something which helps you in your job type 2 learning outside of jobs and then helping bringing that idea into your job and also helping people outside of your job and you become out you are see you are looked at out of the crowd that is the type 2 type 3 is creator right so it's like today you are like you know joy is like you know testo for he wants she wants to learn this and then she learns from microsoft assure she learns from cyber security she learns from right which is good but then she is in type 1 right and maybe a little bit in type 2 that itself is an addict right addiction right and because you wanted to learn 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 more and more that's an addiction like that the type 3 when you come when you start to create stuff it will become an addiction for you for me it is an addiction right i in my company i try to create new new things to help them as an intrapreneur intrapreneur i have done lot of startups and failed doesn't matter right doesn't really matter i have sp- i have started startups and i have failed i have lost money doesn't matter right and then i have uh, think about test stopper it is a creation right so you will become addict in creating stuff and that's what i wanted you to become okay so that you will see what i am saying as things evolve for now let's stop this let's make sure i save this and i put it in here as um, shad i'm going to give you 
um, a task before we meet next week, Friday, same time. Um, let's finish this oat by Tuesday, Wednesday, and then also finish the form, the team's oat before we meet up next Friday. Okay. Okay. And let's uh, let's uh, you know talk to people to see how additional coders can come and help. Once we have this idea, form the team. Then what we can do is we can go to our community and we can ask, hey, we are working on in hackathon in these two ideas. And then you as an owner, right? You as a team can decide, okay, for this particular idea, these are all the expertise and skills that I need. And you can say, I have this skill, I have this skill, I have this skill. These are the two skills that are missing. Then we can go back to the community and say, hey, we have an idea and we want these two guys skills uh, uh, to help us with our developing our idea. And you will be the owners if this particular company becomes a company. Right, whoever together builds an idea and and develops, everyone becomes the owner of that company. You see what I mean? Yeah. If it becomes a company, right? So so a lot of things we can do, and we can bring additional people, and and we can take it forward. Is that all clear so far to everyone? Yes, uh, clear, Kader. Oh, and yes. uh, next yeah. next day, next uh, you know the this meeting that uh, it will be voting or like uh, first little bit pitch and again uh, like a voting. Uh, what is it like? Uh, for, no, for the next one. Next one is we are going to identify top two ideas. So what will happen is uh, Shad will create a poll, okay, voting poll, and okay. she will send an email to every one of you, okay, to vote. Mm -hmm. All right, and and then uh, by Wednesday that vote should be completed. So then based on that voting, we will know what is the two top ideas that are selected by ten of us, right? Mm -hmm. Ten and eleven of us who are there. Then mm -hmm. what Shad will do is. She will put those two ideas, and she will ask who all wants to work on which idea. Mm -hmm. And and then by Friday, what we will have is we will come together. We will make sure that we have decided top two things, and we have teams. And then I will guide you on the next steps as to how we need to take it forward to make this idea into a real product. Right? Identifying resources. I'll I'll, I'll take you through step by step. I don't want to say it here because we are okay. we are already ten minutes late. Okay. Yep. But end of this journey, all I can tell you is you will become a creator and you will become addicted to this. And, and trust me, it's going to make your life um, much, much, much better. Okay. Thank your you. Your career growth and everything. Okay. All right. So let's close the call and meet at the same time next week, 7 p.m. I will send the invitation to every one of you. Um, Shad, can you uh, let me download this uh, uh, list of 11 people who have attended so I know the names? Just a minute. Um, guys, wait. Don't go. Download attendees. Why is it not downloading? Hold on. Uh, download. Why is it not downloading? Chat, have you taken the names? I took a screenshot of this. Okay, good. For some reason, I am clicking download. It's not downloading. All right. Good. You guys have a great evening. I'll see you next week, Friday. Great weekend, all of you. And Kadar, thank you so much. You're welcome. Happy to help. Take care, guys. Bye.